welcome back to our Good Morning North Coast show. In the studio with me is our also bubbly Claudia Greenwood. Claudia, good morning. Good morning, Taryn. And welcome back onto the show. It's always so good to have you on the show. Thank you. Let's kick off with a good start for the, for the week on a Monday morning. Johannes, what is our daily inspiration for the day? Okay, today's topic is about winning, being a winner. I love it. Yes. And being a winner doesn't mean you need to come first. Mm. And um, in most people's minds, it's, you know, if you, to win means I have to come first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I want to talk about today is that winning is all about every little step and every um, action you take towards being great. So it's a very individual thing. Um, it's about doing what you can in the moment, doing better than the day before, showing up for yourself. Because, Taryn, who's your competition? Are you your own competition at the end of the day? For sure. Yeah. Okay, and if you look at life like that, and you say, I'm competing about against myself, every um, progress you make is one step towards being your own winner, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Um, and what we find often is people talk themselves down because we compare ourselves to other people and we allow other people to decide on whether we win or not. Okay, and that's when you give away your personal power. Because basically what you're saying to other people is, you know, what your opinion of me or how I, I'm doing is more important and it has more value more, yeah. than my own opinion. So what I want to encourage people to do is to think about yourself in terms of your progress. Okay, one step closer to your goal, one step in terms of learning something new. Even listening better to other people um, gives you that, you know, that, edge uh, for yourself to actually take you to another level to say you know what I've actually listened carefully I've learned something um, I can maybe expand my creativity my knowledge and do something more yeah. but always remember that you're a winner regardless of whether you come first or not it's not about competing against other people and I think that's the most difficult thing because mentally if you don't achieve or you don't yeah, basically achieve what you set out to achieve, you automatically think you're a failure, and mentally that just puts you back and sets you back again. Yes, of course. But do you know that there are more lessons um, to be learned, and we grow more when we fail than when we win? Actually win. Because then everything is going smoothly. Okay? So if we've, if we've won and we've accomplished something, what, what more lesson is, you know, what lesson do we Can find from that? Yes. So if we have a mindset of, if I fail, there's an opportunity to actually grow, then in actual fact, in that so-called failure, there's an opportunity to win. To win, yeah. Okay, and that's when you learn a lesson and you apply something different and you grow and, um, you know, you, you get different ideas and um, you just expand within yourself. And don't put yourself down. It's about saying, well, you know what? I tried. The other person maybe didn't, you know. Imagine if I sat and never tried anything. Where, exactly. where would that get you? You still wouldn't even have gone forward. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're competing against yourself then, I mean, well, you know what? You, to keep competing against yourself, you've got to challenge yourself. It's tiring, isn't it, too? It can be very tiring, but you know what? When you start having a, um, a winner's or winning mindset, suddenly you're seeing more opportunities and you're more kind to yourself and you're more uplifting for yourself and getting yourself in a more positive space, um, having a, a more positive mindset, and you're actually showing respect for yourself. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And uh, the greater roll-on effect of that for yourself as well. Exactly, exactly. You know, if a person's finding themselves to be um, in a, a mindset of, I can't do this, and this is hard, and this is difficult, and somebody's better than me, just understand that you're in a mindset of, failure okay and if you consumed with um, thoughts that indicate that you're failing those are your own thoughts so you actually talking yourself down yeah, yeah and then I would encourage people to you know what get help um, to go and explore if if you can't manage this yourself um, and get yourself out of that and switch your mindset to being more positive rather get assistance by, for, through somebody of who course. can actually help you identify what what sort of mental chat are you consumed with yes. that's keeping you stuck um, I love that um, quote by I can't remember her name now but um, Taylor Swift yes. okay we we she talks about she says you know what instead of trying to f battle the storms learn to dance in the rain okay and that's about being a winner 
because storms in life will come up all the time. Of we will course. always have challenges, and we can't control what's... M most of the stuff outside no. of us, we can't control. Out of our control. Okay. So when things go wrong, learn to dance in the rain. Learn to make the most of it. And there, that, what you do there is learn the lessons, try something else, be creative, um, in, be and engaging with other people. It. And that's, that's how you, you, you can switch to the mindset of being a winner. Fabio, well, what an inspirational message this morning. I mean, that's such a powerful way to end off as well. Look, I actually don't even have to say anything. That is just, <laughs> guys out there watching, I mean, what a beautiful message. Make that mind switch. And like Claudia says, if you have to go see one in order to make your mind shift, go do that mind shift. But you're always a winner no matter what. Thank you, Claudia. Pleasure. We're going to go into a quick ad break. And after the ad break, we've got Helen and Neville from Ndlondlo Reptile Park, one you don't want to miss.